and welcome back guys for this new part of Sea of Stars. Now we're just in front of the Dokari Lake, Dokari, Lake Dokaria. Um, and yeah, la last part was a bit uh, <laughs> suspicious, but we found the way through the, the jungle and now we're on to the lake area. So let's see what uh, what goes here. We're going to find out. Under the waves of a blue lake dwells the lost city. Okay, so it's time for, uh, for the hammer, right? I'm all for a swim, but this is, looks deep. Okay, so I'll just... <laughs> no way we can hold our breath for that long. Well, if it comes down to, he to it, there's something I've been meaning to... Hey! Do you see that bell over there? Oh, she was about to say something important, I feel. It looks similar to the hammer Morgrave gave us. Right. <laughs> Let's hit it. Let's hit it and see what happens. So Sarai has a few more secrets to to and to like tell us when we're ready but she was about to, to tell us something so i guess there this is not a big secret that she wants to she wants us to not to know what's that like just a small island with nothing in it with nothing on it seems a bit suspect to me Suspicious. Alright, let's hit it. Coral Hammer. Cool. And the music starts. What's that? Nothing yet. Welcome to Lake Dokaria, travelers. Hello, we're looking for the Oracle of Tides. Why, yes, your coming has been foreseen. Solstice warriors are always welcome here. Is this a tem the temple then? Oh no, the temple is in Dokar village. It sits on the ocean floor, deep below the lake. But <clears throat> worry not, travelers. You will soon become attuned to the deep. Come to the first step. Come, the first step of the ritual is right there. Oh, this is exciting. Now, please pick the seashell that is most beautiful to you. What? We get to keep one? Oops, sorry, do you mind? This is so special. Of course, go for it. I think I'll do this one. Or maybe this one? Take your time. Choose the right one, please. This one is the best! What do you think, Sarai? What? Uh, you sure? Okay, this is the one. A good pick. To complete the ritual, you must now go to the sacred grove and let the seashell drink from its altar. Only then its magic resonate with you. What kind of magic? Why, the kind that will let, breathe, let, let you breathe underwater. Whoa. It is the only way for you to reach Dr. Village and meet with the Oracle. Will it work for all of us? Absolutely, provided you stay close to one another. It's probably best if you hold on to it then. Gold seashell. I will unlock the lake's north gate for you. Your destination is to the northwest. Okay, so that was the gate. Cool. Okay. Make for the sacred grove, the grove and remember to steer clear of Torment Peak. Uh, that kind of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you say I shouldn't go there, I kind of want to, right? <clears throat> Am I the only one? Watcher's Pond. 
Let's just do a quick fishing. It's been a while and uh, I need all the fish anyway. Oh, missed it. There you go. Those one are more like more of a kind of a challenge, not not really a challenge. But. So piranha, okay. Whoa, this one is uh, a sun corp, okay. Viridian Lobster. I wonder if there is like a sacred one, like hidden sacred fish to, to catch to catch on the in the game. Like oh, this one cannot only be catch in this place, and only if you did that and this and yeah. like a like a side quest basically. I wonder. Oh, come on. It's so close. Crimson bass. <clears throat> I feel like when you stun the fish when it's in here, you should get a bigger boost of a uh, real reading, a reading boost like something, because you stun it, but then your your fishing line gets really slow for whatever reason it doesn't feel as good as it should to time it right like this the fastest uh, you can reel a fish is when it goes in the right dire direction it's just so fast like right there when when it goes to down you, you actually goes really really fast When you stun it, it doesn't move, and so the reeling is just really slow. It doesn't feel as good. You stun it, but yeah, you, you don't make much progress at all. Maybe it should be harder, like the timing, but maybe it should just reward more, a lot more. Like, see how slow it is. is. <coughs> okay, one more, I think. Rooms are annoying. Okay, I think we have all of them. Let's just check the surroundings. <clears throat> Anything there? No. Okay. So I'm going to be able to breathe underwater. That's interesting. So we have all the fish. Uh, should we explore the new, like, the, the, the area he said we shouldn't go to? <laughs> I'm wondering. Let's see. Sacred Grove. That's where he wants us to go. What about that? Torment Peak. Should I go there? What is that? No idea. It looks like a giant prism. Oh, so there are things hidden on the map. Maybe I missed a few. I don't... I, I hope... I hope I didn't. But 
and I can't go to the, to the woods. Maybe I should try to go into the German pick. Let's see. Maybe the game will stop me. The solicitor rule is broken. We can't use the time of day to activate this device. Okay, so... I can't go anyway, right? Okay. Well, we're settled. But I, I prefer to check, uh, just because I would always wonder, like, oh, did, I, did I miss something? Or just, yeah. I would always be asking myself if I made the right choice. We don't need to rest or save, I think. Yep, we're good. Let's go. Oh. Oh, they are like the, the kids and the children. Two turns, so that's easy to do. This and then Sarai to two. Gonna flurry this bird. These are the first enemies that we, uh, when we hit one, the other gets the the animation or the is angry. That's weird. I still couldn't do the ultimate attack, so I don't know how that will that will work. I was such in a bad spot on the la 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 latest boss that I couldn't really manage to, to do it. Not the one. This one. Oh, this one goes fast. Okay. Did I miss uh, something with the other one? I'm not sure. Okay, so I can only cancel one of them. Um, you know what? Let's do Sarai's uh, flurry. Sending. 68, I can't. Not in one shot. Oh, I could have. Alright. Interesting. My character is starting to, to hit really hard. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe I'm losing uh, Zell here. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Th that's what I missed. Let me go back. I want to go back. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay. So I have to do all the whole. Uh, oh, actually, yes. Cold dagger. Okay, that's nice. Really nice. Okay. Didn't feel, felt like it was that high, but I guess it was. What? Oh no, guys. <laughs> what? Okay, let's just. Completely missed my uh, my stuff here. I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to grappling hook, but for some reason I couldn't remember the like the right uh, the right button. I like how the weapons change visually. I think the the daggers from Sirai are new, right? Combo moon sheave. Okay, I want to try that as soon as possible. Sounds cool. jump too soon you have to wait for for the pillar to be like locked in position basically before jumping or it, it doesn't work there you go Fire or seashell, let's go. That's definitely definitely the altar. So the she seashell goes here and That did, that did it. I can feel the magic. Got the magic seashell. You can now explore underwater sections by entering whirlpools. Let's give it a try. That's huge. And the music adapts to the deeps. It's huge because you think about all the the places you visited and you're like well now I got to visit everything it's like it's kind of like a metroidvania when you get some new when you get a new power you're like I kind of want to revisit everything now <laughs> I really like how they did the traversing like the exploration stuff that's really cool and now there's a swirly yep whirlwind is there any other place I can dive, deep, deep dive? No. Uh, should I get back, to back, get back to the guy who gave me the seashell first? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. You know what? Let's uh, check on him first. Thank you for honoring your, our tradition. You can now visit Docker Village at your convenience. Whenever you are ready, the way is through the big whirlpool. Yep, okay. Let's go to 
Doctor Village. Oh, so they have like a bubble around. Some Dakari prefers to remain in their inner chambers most of the time. As a tribe, we learn not to, get, to take offense at such behaviors and to celebrate each community member's freedom to engage and associate, associate with uh, to the extent that they desire. Okay, so they all like really understand, uh, like they understand others. Okay, let's try it. So it's an inner chamber, right? Your soul is warriors, aren't you? That's the ultimate mystery that exists, you bet. Whoa. Okay, but give me your treasures. I'd love to take my son around the world, but we also want to run our fa own family store. We thought of moving to Brisk, but everything is way too established there. We'd never break through. Mirth? That sure sounds interesting. What we'll Parker thinks right, right away? Thanks. Cool. So it's the second one, second time we can actually recruit someone uh, if we didn't miss any. So nice. Oh, did I press uh, two times? Okay. I like I like how it's fast. Like the first time, it, it's kind of a slow animation, but then it's uh, it's a fast one. I like that. So let's explore the rest of the town. So no hidden chests. I didn't think that there was like many hidden things that I couldn't see. Oh, and that's our next guy. Okay, cool. Let's challenge the champion. So let's see what are, what are his uh, pawns are. I mean, like uh, figurines. Oh, it's a rog, rogue. I hope I can. Get the rogue. Mage and rogue. So I feel like it's a battle of power here. So I'm probably going for the, that one. I don't really need walls because rogue can bypass the walls and mage can also bypass, kind of bypass the walls. So I'm going for an all out attack, a speed battle. Maybe this is not the right strategy, guys. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to lose like a bad, read bad. It's a no wall games. Oh, he's doing walls, okay. Walls is the right play. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's do some walls. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not the right choice. Music is awesome, as always. Nope, I clicked twice. Okay, good. I kind of want my mage to play again uh, before my warrior, my knight. guy bypasses yep and it slows down one of my guys so the, this is the warrior 
Yeah, let's just destroy his wall. Wow, this is going to be fast. Okay. This could end like really fast either way. I don't I don't think I have time to build any any walls that would be efficient. Next attack from the wizard and I'm dead anyway, so and from the the, the, the thief as well. Let's uh, let's blast this guy. Okay, that's fine. Can I play with my mage? Yes. Okay. Good. I should win right here. No, not win, but yeah. He can play maybe his rogue, but I can't do shit about it. Okay, I won. That was a close one. Okay, great. Victory. Nice. First yeah, first time. But yeah, I'm not sure this was the best strategy to be fair. Hey, one congratulation, here's price. Gold wheel. Still don't know what those are doing. Uh, just the middle, right? So I have a level three wheel. I thought wheels would be hard to get a grasp of, but I just played a couple of games and it made all made sense. Yeah, I, I agree. Greetings, Charles. Did you need a room for the night? Mm, maybe I do. Some RPGs uh, have an achievement that, like, Final Fantasy IX comes to mind, where there is an achievement to sleep at each. Oh! New story unlocked, the vampire rose. You know what? Let's listen to it right now. <clears throat> there once was a botanist who attempted to trick death by growing a rose so pretty she couldn't bear to rip it. Smitten, death spiraled into confusion as she appreciated the beauty of life for the very time. Whether her next action was fueled by Jill's rage or opportunistic guile, no one really knows. Using wicked magic, she turned the flower into something even more beautiful but very cursed indeed. The Vampire Rose. A thing of beginning beauty, compelling all who lay upon eyes upon it to willingly take part in their own corruption. Rumors of the magical rose reached all corners of the world, carrying a simple promise. A promise few could resist. Eternal life, provided they could take it. Despite the elation offered by the initial touch, the price became apparent, became apparent quickly, all too quickly. For every second spent in holding the vampire rose, a year would be added to the one to one's lifespan. But for every borrowed year, a thorn would grow on one of the bones. Stories said that of all the people to touch the vampire rose, must most realized their mistake instantly. Having extended their lives but by but a single year, they'd realize their grip and live on, only with a very painful reminder felt in their every move. But there were other others unable to stop themselves and became that what few would describe as human or even alive. Thought, though it is unclear whether the vampire rose yet exists, everyone agrees on one thing. It appears that, in the end, death always gets the last laugh in the face of those foolish enough to try and cheat her. The end. Okay. So, I'm wondering if those are all like side quests, because the Vespertine one was clearly the uh, a thing we had to go uh, during the story. So I'm wondering if it's the same for all of those. Probably not. I would say the other ones are probably side quests. Welcome to Docker Village Adventures. It has been so long since we have three visitors. Nice to meet you. We're looking for the Ark of Tides. Well, of course you are. 
The temple is just up north from here. That's where the oracle resides. He's no doubt expecting you. Every Dokari house has an inner chamber. We come up to the part above the surface when we want to socialize. While inner chambers are a bit more private and customized to the owner's preference, visitors are always free to come and go as they please. Don't be shy now. Cool. Looking for items? Maybe I am. At least I want the recipe for sure. Um, yep. Let's uh, sell that. What about uh, other things? For now, I should be... I'm holding on to my equipments for no reason at all, but... Welcome, we have a... What? Welcome, we have a fast selection of equipment. Let's see. Coral staff, coral sword, and coral daggers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um... Okay. Let's actually sell all those. Bone armor, don't need that. Maybe I need the Mage Knight. I don't... Yeah, we don't know if we're going to encounter someone who is doing like tremendous magic damage. I still... I still don't have any... Uh, much uh, accessories. Like some of my guys don't have... Oh, they all have... Okay. But the yellow one, they don't have the golden one. I don't know why. Let's uh, hope we can find some soon. Okay, let's try this one first. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Hey there, our tribe. Our, tri our tribe comes from the deep blue, far below the ocean floor. An aquatic nomads, we, fo we follow the guidance of the Oracle of Tides for generations, establishing encampments ever closer to the surface. As you can see, we eventually made it to our destination. After the Curvy that you founded, we abandoned our nomadic well way of life. Old Corel Phase. What's that? Teeks might get a story from this. Okay, cool. Interesting. There we go. And now on to the other inner chamber. North of here is the dreadful mountain known as Turman Peaks. Story said that generations ago, sources were sealed and evil within it. Which makes me wonder, how can something be so dreadful that even they would run from it? Well, I'm, now I'm scared. <laughs> okay. That's it. Um, okay. Well, I guess we learned a bit in of info for um, Dreadful Mountain or Dreadful Peaks or whatever the name. Okay. <clears throat> I really like the like the architecture of the the place is really different from any other village. Which makes sense of course. While some of us can wield trident with a relative efficiency, we are not a tribe of warriors. Or rather not anymore. Okay, okay, got it. What about you? This is our temple where the Oracle of Tides communes with the water of the world to keep us informed of important events. We knew you were coming, of course. Feel free to enter. Not yet, uh, gentlemen. Not yet. What about this place? Us Dockery have a particular relationship with water, with which our sensitive skins feels as very enveloping. It keeps us calm and composed. 
If we spend too much time outside of a body of water, we are compelled by anxiety to find that comfort again. Each of us have their own threshold, some preferring to remain in their inner chambers at all times. You're welcome to visit them by using the water vortexes. Even though they are often forgotten, the, mo the more sensitive types have, a more ch have as much need for connection as anyone. Okay, interesting. Sapphire Ingot. Wow. Doesn't say how much, but I feel like this is the first time we get this one. So probably more than 100 gold, I guess. I don't know. So who are you? Mirna. Hello there, adventurers. Congratulations on finding Mirna's Market of Marvels. Turn in your rainbow conch is right here for unique rewards. Are you running a shop? There's that Market of Marvels. Grandpa left me a whole bunch of items and relics up for grabs to whoever helps me grow my rainbow conch collection. Where can we find them? Well, everywhere. Though... Rainbow conches are all the rage as of late, so the, the easy ones are mostly gone. Just need to keep an, your eyes peeled for secret areas. Some people might be swayed into giving theirs up too. You seem to know a lot of for, for your age. Business is a game of mutual benefit and leverage. I did my homework. I know you won't be able to resist schematics to build a tavern and a fishing house in that town you found, found it. What's that? You'd prefer epic loot like relics? You've come to the right place, Solstice Warriors. See? Mutual benefit. You work for me and my red rainbow couch, co couch collection will be unbeatable. Question is, do you have the rainbow couch? Oh, I do. See rewards list. Something social, something useful, transactional, bountiful, shrewd. Healthy, relaxing, potent, meta. Yes. 25. In plans. Cor cornucopia. Shop plans. Fishing hut plans. Oh, so these are for the village. Okay, and I also got a relic. Party max HP plus 2. 20% oh it's party wide oh nice I'm definitely equipping that okay well 20 HP on the whole party is a lot good day adventurers might you help a, an old man out maybe what's the matter it's my three grandkids they wanted to play hide and seek and well I simply cannot find them they have a habit of hiding in random inner chambers and being free from an older generation, I find myself quite unwilling to barge into other people's home. If you could find them for me, it would be for I would be forever grateful. Do I have to go back to all the inner chambers? Mm, okay. Oh, let's, uh, let's do that. We finally could. Wow, well, I'm bad. We finally could uh, could turn our conches, turn in our conches. So now we have plans to build things uh, for the village for myth. Um, maybe we should go back soon. I don't know. Oh, there's one kid here. Hey, who are you? You have your grandpa. Oh, so he sent you. Yep. Yeah. Our time is getting bored. Wow. Just don't hide in a place where you know we won't find you. <clears throat> hey you. You won't catch me. I just did. There are no inner thing here. No. But there is a key here. Came to here to see pirates. Well, here is your reward. 
I guess the devs were kind of afraid we would miss the inner uh, rooms because like they have two different peoples in the town that are uh, like insisting on us visiting the, the inner chambers and uh, we have also the side quest of the kids so I, I feel like the devs were like what if they just miss completely on those uh, little swirlies what what do we do I maybe I'm wrong but go away you're ruining my hype, hide spot I think you are a little too good at hiding there we go I think that was the three kids let's see the grandpa and then we can probably continue on with the story you have my thanks here for your troubles. I suggest you turn these at least our local entrepreneur. Best of luck. So 26. And next reward is 27. Alright, something something shrewd. Cool. I think I did everything I could on the in the city. So let's check on the Oracle of Tides. <coughs> As foreseen, a new generation of Solstice warriors has come to seek guidance. The tides never lie. I am the Oracle of Tides, the Oracle of Tides, one of the three three seers. Welcome. Thank you for seeing us, Oracle. We are looking for a way to unto Mess Island. Straight to the point, I see. The monster you are hunting has put to shame a sizable force of your order in the past, and now it seems only the two of you remain. Still, you would venture into the Fleshmancer's old castle. Yes, whatever it takes. Then I suppose we should make this a serious audience. Allow me a moment to commune with the waters and see what the flow of, t of time is willing to reveal. We're in a hurry. The Dweller of Strife could wake in at any moment. Can you get us onto Mess Island or not? The one who does not belong here is eager to speak, I see. It is not the place of a seer to offer direct help, direct help, but rather to provide insight. May I assume it is understood that there will be no prophecy for you, foreign children, foreign child? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Very well then. Warrior, cook, step forward. Hey, that's exactly step forward. There is a great deed you might be capable of, but it will only be revealed to you once it's too late to act on it. Okay, sure. Oh. <laughs> when that moment comes, demand a flask of borrowed time. Flask of borrowed time, got it, thanks. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Hold still. Very interesting. But the order of the events, a real shame. <clears throat> you have been upfront with me, so I shall do the same. But first, some closure. Seeing you now as I have seen you in my dreams, I know that the watch of the Dockery Oracles is at an end. At long last, the ones that we have been expecting for centuries have come. This waterfall is the gateway to our world's greatest mystery. One that is yours to unveil. The Tower of Ansudlo. Ansudlo, okay, that's a play in words, that's a pun. <laughs> An enigmatic structure concealing a door that has remained firmly shut since time immemorial. Waiting for two children of the solstice with a slim but very, very real chance of altering fate. 
waiting for you. So en dessous de l'eau means in French uh, below water, basically. Right on. I always knew Zell and Valir were special. There is one other thing of which I am certain. Of all the possible outcomes, there is not a single one where you defeat the Dweller of Strife in battle. But there must be a way. Didn't you just say we might be able to utter fate? I do not make the rules, my child. You have had plenty of time to stare at the night inside of you. Your potential is immense, but you will not be prepared in time for the big confrontation. Regardless of what happens in that tower, there is no possible outcome where you defeat the Dwarf of Strife. But we have to fight, and fight you will, but victory will not be yours. <laughs> and you, Lunar Monk, with, with but a simple spark, you could have been you could have been the one to create path on water and mend the connection at long last. Oh, that's right, she, she can do that. So close, and yet so far. But alas, it appears the problem begets the solution. We're still going to try. Isn't there anything you, do, you can do to help? It is not within my power to help. You make it, it onto Mess Island. Is the solution, is that in that tower you mentioned whatever fate has in store for you all i know for certain is that your next step is beyond this waterfall the mysterious tower of Ansudlo await awaits survive its trials and discover the secret that has been waiting for you all along godspeed solstice warriors Okay, so this guy is, knows it all, but he also knows that we're going to lose on Sudlo. So like I said, this is a play in words because the devs are from the French Canadian part of the Canada and so they, they're making buns for French uh, people, I guess. Can't go there yet. Okay, now I can probably go. Oh, I can't use my grappling hook, okay. I still want to battle this guy. Can I? Please. Okay, not yet. Can I do sun damage underwater? Let's try. Kind of effective. It's a nice idea, I guess. It's really um, original. Can I kill this guy before he acts? Oh, is it? Okay, so I just protected. Guess it makes sense. So only magic. And I fell. I 
should have healed. Poison and sun in one. Okay. Clone. <laughs> That's nice. Do I need to defeat the clone? Probably, I guess. If I defeat those guys, they are like, uh, they disappear. Sapphire ore. And there we go. <clears throat> Probably reached the bottom of the tower. I would guess. Yes. Okay, what's that? Just to clam? Okay. Well then, here we are in the at the bottom of the tower, I guess. So this is where I'm going to end this part of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one while I'm cooking a bit of sandwiches.